it looks like a massive net, right? Yeah. We're yeah. in a low vis environment with net all around, so utmost caution. It's just a mess. I'm just gonna just strafe around it a little bit here. I don't want to go play Absolutely. Or run anything. Yeah, we've had some questions about the nets, and um, what we've seen is several trawling nets uh, tangled up in this shipwreck, and um, it's affecting you know the local fish in the area, but also it's very important that the pilots can can mark and see these nets so that they don't get entangled uh, with these nets, and that's one of the major reasons, as I understand it, that Argus is currently changing positions. The nets are not part of the historical fabric of the wreck and could be removed. Why don't we try zooming in on that, Mary? It is kind of yes, dark, please. but... And we have our ever-present uh, cod and rockfish in the view as yeah, well. Yeah, that block belongs to the, to the coast trader. Huh? Yeah. Get out of my way. <laughs> <laughs> trying to focus here. They're little hams. <laughs> Yes, that's the structure we're, we're curious. That's attached to a pretty uh, heavy-duty piece of cable. Steppy. Goes through an eye. Oh, that's trawl gear. Thank you. Okay. Come wide, please. Okay, I'm coming around to the south. Okay. I think... Let her get in front of us. Yeah, we can let her lead the way. Oh, Jesus. Oh, there's even more net right on the deck in front of us. Not that obvious piece, but yeah. on the right side. This is the con of the command center for the vessel. And as we look here, you can see that some of that lighter superstructure has been damaged because of the impact of nets. What you can also see and what we've passed in a couple of areas is what has fallen in has been from that upper area, and we've seen some instruments from the ship's bridge. There's a spot there you can see the float for one of those nets. These are more modern trawls. Anyway, they catch up on here. It's not great for the fishermen. They're looking at a fair amount of investment in trawls, and they lose those. And then that net is there. It tears the wrecks up, and it also catches the fish. And that's the case. Nobody benefits. The fisherman doesn't benefit, and the fish most certainly don't. And neither does the consumer, because what you have is that those dead fish caught in there. The fish we're seeing right now in the stream are not dead. They're just merely resting there. But there's another one farther down who's definitely caught. 